Okay, everyone, welcome to another episode of First Ink. I think that's what I'm going to call this series. Um, a couple pretty cool new things to try out today. First of all, I mean, obviously, you see this pen right here. Uh, but also, I got a few notebooks from Misubi. They're, um, what is it, they're like Tomo System um, Folio Notebooks, I think is what they're called. Uh, I got one in their Cosmo Airlight paper, and then of course two Tomoe River notebooks because, you know, can never have too much Tomoe River. That's what I live by. Anyways, uh, I'm going to try this one out today. I'm going to try a new paper and a new pen. Uh, and, because, you know, I've already used Tomoe River a bunch before, but it's cool to try out a new paper. Um, especially because Tomoe River is becoming less and less of an option, um, but who knows how that'll turn out in the future. But anyways, uh, unboxing this. You can see I've already, I've already turned it over. This is a classic Omos box where the actual side has like a one pen slot with the pen sleeve and then you can turn it around and you have two. Um, on the inside of the box it says, I don't know if you can see that, embossed right here. It says Italian creativity, history, craftsmanship, the pleasure of writing. Um, I got this pen used because, you know, can't really buy Omos new nowadays, um, but you've probably seen the title in the thumbnail. Yeah, this is an Omos Ojiva. I forget the exact model number. It'll be right here. Omos model numbers are weird, or at least I think they are. Maybe I'm just not used to them. This is a it's a small one. It's not like their um, like Ojiva Vision that I have. Uh, it's just a black resin with a gold nib. It's what I've wanted for a long time. Just you know. One, a simple Omos that's more of like an everyday pen to use. The piston filler is not bad. It's a little stiff, but I can try and fix that. Um, yeah, it unscrews at the grip section, which I'm not going to be doing right now. Maybe that's a future video. But anyways, it's an 18 karat broad nib. Uh, beautiful Omos imprint. Uh, doesn't look like there's a year on this one. So I'm not sure exactly when this was made. But I don't think it's super recent. The trim is pretty good. Uh, just a little bit of wear on the piston trim ring. But other than that, it looks really good. It's in great condition. Um, there's some sort of mark right there. It looks like the Roman numeral 2. I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, let's get to writing with this pen. There's got to be one reliable sort of known in this equation, uh, I guess you would say. And for that reason, I'm going to be using Pilot Orochizuku Sukiyo because it's it's probably the ink that I've used the most ever. It's the only ink that I've gone through a full like 50 mi 50 milliliter like full size bottle of. So this is my second bottle, uh, and it's one of my favorite inks. It's a beautiful blue black ink. And it'll be a good way to judge if this is actually a, a pen that I like and a paper that I like. So let's get this inked up. All right, let's see here. Let's unscrew the bottle. The Roshizuku bottles are always a bit difficult to open, but you know, that's life. Uh, let's see, let's unscrew this pen. And let's get to filling it up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to put some silicone grease on that. I'll see uh, I'll see if it's easy to disassemble or not. Because, I mean, theoretically it's easy to disassemble, but you never know how powerful the sealant is, still is on these things. Um, or at least in my experience, you don't. Uh, this is my fifth Omos pen, which is pretty crazy to think about. Uh, I had a 360 and I sold that. Um, but right now I have an... Omos Ojiva Vision and two Omos Paragons. Uh, I'll get those out for like a little size comparison after we write with this one for the first time. So let's put this aside. And you know, it's a new notebook. A little bit of fresh notebook anxiety, but you just gotta go for it, you know? So, here we go. Page 001. It's a little bit glued right here, but that happens with all notebooks. Um, let's see. Oh, 
Omas, Ojiva, Fountain Pen. Now that nib is really, really smooth. That's a really nice writing experience, like right out of the box. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's got good tipping material too. Tipping material, excuse me. It's not just like a flat spot that's making it so smooth. It's just a really, really nice broad nib. And it doesn't seem like there's any sort of baby's bottom. I know I just inked it up. Um, and that might, you know, help that out in terms of, you know, it's like a primed feed and stuff like that. But yeah, that is really, really nice to write with. Let's see, let's go for a bit of cursive. Pilot. Shizuku. Suki yo. Um, I think some of that smoothness also has to do with also has to do with this paper. This Cosmo Air Light is um, it feels very coated, but not in like a ceramic way. I don't even know how to describe it. It just feels. Um, I think it's like like Yupo paper, whatever it's called, the waterproof stuff. It kind of feels like that. It's very. I think this is eighty six GSM. I think. I really should have researched this, but hey, it's a first ink. It's not. It's not you know super scientific. <laughs> um, but it it shows the shading really nice on this ink. I'm not sure about sheen yet. I guess that'll remain to be seen. But so far, really liking this. Uh, both this paper and this pen. Huge fan. And yeah, it's a very light pen. It's made of that cotton resin, I think, that Omas used. But it's just, it, it fits perfectly in the hand. Uh, I'm really glad to have a pen like this because I've always wanted that sort of everyday Omas pen I could use. Because Omas is, I mean, you gotta love Omas. Um, and yeah, I've always wanted to have a pen that I wasn't like afraid to use from Omas. Um, and this is, this is absolutely perfect for that purpose. So for that reason, I'm really happy to have this. Uh, let's give you a little bit of size comparison with the other Omas pens I have. And then I guess give some final thoughts. Yeah, that sounds like a good good plan. So here we are. These are the uh, four Omas pens that I have. And, you know, you could say, Aiden, that's crazy. You don't need four outrageously expensive Italian fountain pens. Uh, and to that I would say yes, you're right, but also they're cool. <laughs> uh, just check it, check it out, look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Um, so this is the Omas Ojiva Vision. This is the Omas Ojiva that I just got. This is an Omas Paragon in Arco Bronze. And this is an Omas Paragon in Pearl Gray. Uh, and you can see this uh, Ojiva is a little bit shorter. It's also slightly different dimensions. The cap is a little slimmer. Um, it's got the, you know, the cap band is a little different. The piston knob is differently sized. So yeah, it's just kind of different in every way. It's just the same uh, sort of, I don't know, design ethos. It's also got a different clip as well. Um, I love both of these pens though. I'm really glad I picked this up. I'm glad I finally have that sort of everyday Elmas that I could use for like journaling and stuff like that without being worried about taking it around. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video, this little first look and first ink of this Omas Ojiva fountain pen. Hopefully I'll have some more content with this pen and you know with other pens similar to it coming in the future. So thank you very much for watching this little video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.